like my home and I don't like leaving it behind when I have to go on tour. Don't get me wrong, I love going from city to city and exploring new places that I've never seen before. I've just come home from Nottingham and I'm on my way to Newcastle in about an hour. But I am a house cat. I love my home, I love my things, I love my creature comforts and I've only got limited space in my case to take certain things and obviously clothes and toiletries and necessities are my priority so it means that I have to leave behind all of my my pens and my stationery and my craft and my postcards and my letters and my pictures so it all has to stay here which means when I'm away I just crave it all so much when I do come home I've only got just over sometimes under 24 hours to soak it all up again but i never usually get homesick i'm a proper adventurer explorer i love going on adventures and meeting new people and seeing new places but there's usually an end point it's usually a two-week holiday or a few days here and there and it's never too long before you come home again and when you do come home you're at home for the foreseeable future but when i come home between venues on tour i know that i'm only going to be here for a limited time before i'm off again i think it's something that i'll get used to i've only been to two venues so far newcastle will be my third and i think i just have to get used to the idea of constantly moving and there's so much excitement in it and i love seeing the new theaters and the new dressing rooms but i just have to get used to not being here train. It's starting to get ridiculous. A guy covered in spikes. Literally, completely covered in spikes. Looks at you funny because you're talking to a camera. Each to their own, mate. I don't judge you, spiky man. But hey, the hour has given me enough time to buy my dinner in Marks and Spencers and get two nice pens because I've started a bullet journal, which I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to see what happens. I'm enjoying it so far, but I'm worried it's just procrastination because there's a lot of doodling involved. But there's also a lot of planning involved, which I like, and a lot of organization, which I'm really bad at. So it might give me a bit of a kick up the ass to get my life in order, which is really what I need. So let's see how it goes. This place is really swanky. Well, this is cute. Have I got a view? Ooh, yeah! Yay! So I'm officially in Newcastle and I'm drinking Brodie's tea, which is a type of tea I've never tried before. I'm guessing it's a, a, an up north Newcastle type of tea. I had completely forgotten that I'd booked myself a first class train ticket to Newcastle. Thank you very much, past me. She treats me well. And I ended up sat with my friend Ross on the train. We kept each other company on the way up, which was lovely. Although he does need to work on his Geordie accent. Ross, we just arrived in Newcastle. How do you feel? Why, I. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of work on this bullet journaling thing. I know I've already mentioned it like a million times in this one vlog, but I'm just really intrigued by it. And I have this gorgeous journal that I was given at Stage Door at Les Mis that says, be silly, be honest, be kind. And something I worked on on the train was an idea I got from someone else who did a video about their bullet journal. And I thought it was such 
such a wonderful idea. She picks a word to put in the front of her journal and it's a word that she focuses on for the year and her word was flourish. For my bullet journal and for my year, I want to focus on the word worth. I want to focus on all the things in the world that I find worth and value in and focus my gratitude towards those things. And I also want to focus on my own self-worth because I forget about that a lot and I need reminding from time to time. <laughs> but I shall let you know how I get on with this and thank you Dodie for bringing bullet journaling to my attention because I genuinely think this is going to help me in some way or another. I'm not sure how yet, but somewhere or another it will help. Chitty is in Newcastle for two weeks, so if you are from Newcastle or the surrounding areas and you want to come and see the show, I shall put the link to the website below and bring on Newcastle. I never really do videos like this because I never really feel like I have much to offer when it comes to product. 